Hey, what's up, y'all? Thought I'd do a little bit of a video this time around on the uh, British Customs gel seat uh, for the Triumph Bobber. Now, I mentioned this seat in a previous video where I showed it to y'all how to put it on the bike, but I had not um, talked much about at the time. Um, you know, I hadn't ridden it very much. I had just put it on at the time. So now that I have a few miles on it, um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about my opinions of it and see what I think of it. So. Let me uh, get the camera switched over and we'll take a look at it. All right, so this is the seat and I did about 70 miles on this seat this morning um, and I have put several other rides on it since then. Um, and I'm pretty happy with the seat's looks overall. So we'll talk about that first. Um, let's see if I can get close-up view of the stitching and all on the seat which I think looks great I'm really happy with the look overall of the seat um, I will start with one of my kind of negatives on the seat though and that even though it looks okay now it took me quite a while and you can see back here on the back is still not perfect um, but it's good enough to where you really have to look close to see that um, it didn't fit the pan as best as I as, as well as I was hoping it would I had to take it off two or three times of the pan and it took me a while to just really try to get it to look nice sitting in the pan so that's one of the negatives but as you can see on the bike it does look really nice if you look really close on the edge of the pan you can see some a little bit of a gap in a few places that isn't absolutely perfect so thought i would throw that out there um so there's that but in my previous video i commented that there wasn't much of a difference between this seat and the stock seat comfort wise and i will say after riding it for quite a while um and especially this morning's ride where I was uh, having some pretty bumpy roads and whatnot. I will say the gel seat does help. Um, there's definitely a noticeable difference. And to me, for whatever reason, I definitely feel more support from this part of the seat. Um, whereas there was this line here before and the seat just felt like I didn't have padding really back here. Um, this whole seat feels like it has padding and I was super comfortable on this seat all day today from you know the vibrations something about the the gel seat whatever they're using uh, it handles the vibrations of riding and bumpiness all that way better <coughs> excuse me so anyway this is a fairly short video but i thought i'd give my opinions on the seat what it looks like a few of the little negatives that i had <clears throat> um if you're curious about how difficult it is to take off to switch the seat over it's really not that bad um yeah my bike so you have this see that little plastic bit in there so there's some bolts you'll take off from the tank to lift the tank up and then you'll pull this little plastic bit off i don't pull the tank all the way off i just lift it up a bit i removed the screw here and i removed these here and then took the whole seat support off and took that over to the bench Turned it over, took the seat off of the base support that runs under here, this piece. Um, the, the torque on the bolt on there is fairly high, so you really kind of have to grab it pretty good to take that off, but not too bad. And then there's several um, screws and whatnot for taking the rest of it off. You take all of this off, there's several screws on the bottom, you take the pan off, and there's an alignment thing there to put it all back to make sure that the... Uh, where the bolt goes back into the frame, the adjustable part goes back into place okay. And I really didn't have much issues with that actual part of it. It was just trying to get the edges of the seat to look good on the pan. And I would say that uh, maybe even though the seat is gorgeous how it is, I would say, you know, if, if somebody from British Customs watches this, um, you have more work to do there as far as to make this. This was, this was a $400 seat. Like, I really don't expect to run into problems like these kind of fitment issues around the edge on a $400 seat. I, that's just that's just a little bit out there. I would expect it to be a perfect fit. Now, maybe Triumph doesn't have exact same size seat pans or something, but for a seat that costs this much, I really expected it to, you know, just go together and look good. But anyway, that, I may have done something wrong. That's just my opinion, although I'm pretty sure I didn't. Um, as you can see, the overall look on the bike, though, 
I mean, I actually love it. it. It looks really nice. I'm really happy with it. And the little gaps that I have in the back and whatnot, that doesn't bother me enough to, to where I wouldn't want to use it. I actually think the seat is still a great upgrade. So anyway, y'all have a good one, and I hope that's helpful to you if you're considering it. Talk to you later.